Michael Keith here with Nat Hunter Games. Today we're going to do Panther Blitz scenario number four, and we're going to be on turn three. Just a quick reminder that the Russians are advancing on the Germans. The Germans are doing a kind of mobile defense where they do a blocking action, and then they bamboose. The as you can see from this opening uh, screen, the Russians have many more units than the Germans have. The victory conditions here, the Russians, the Germans have to prevent the Russians from having units in the center board. 30, fewer than 30 units, they get a decisive victory. Fewer than 30 units, they get a marginal victory. Fewer than 20 units, they get a tactical victory, and fewer than 10 units on this board, they get a decisive victory. Meanwhile, the Soviets need to destroy German units. If the Soviets destroy five German units, they get a marginal victory. Ten, if the Soviets destroy 10 German units, they get a tactical victory. And if they destroy 15 or more German units, they get a decisive victory. So let's start with the, Ger with the Russian phase, the Russian fire phase. We don't have any mines yet in this scenario at all actually all right russian fire they have fire against that unit on a bridge is it worth it for them to actually fire just to take out that truck that's why i put it there how about this unit this unit has a range of six one two three four five so that unit can fire on that truck and take out that truck. That's going to do it. So that truck, it's going to be 12 to 6 to 1 odds. That truck is toast. I have to keep track of this because the German vic the Russian victory level depends upon the German, German units destroyed. Oops, there we go. Let's see who else we have fire. Oh, okay. Right here, so none of these units are spotted because the two units that could are dispersed. However, this unit on the hill is spotted and it's a really good target. So I believe it's H, so it, it defends as armor, but it's a howitzer. I that's why I think it's in that parentheses. That'll be two to one. How many tanks I have here? That will be four to one. Yep, one, two, three, four. And it's half range, so that's going to smoke that. So these two units right here are going to fire at that, and it's going to smoke that German unit. Oh, okay. Dispersed, and they have fired. That becomes a wreck. Boom. Actually, the Germans have a wreck on that bridge right there, don't they? That could be significant. Let's just go to markers. And put a wreck on the bridge. Okay. I'm not sure if the... Do trucks leave wrecks? That's the question. Yeah. Alright, so trucks do not leave wrecks. So I'm just going to delete this unit. There we go. Okay, any other units I want to have fire? This unit right here. Now, if I could take that out early, but it's armor and I would have to be one-to-one. -one. Do I want to do that? Can I do that? It would be one to one plus one. Is there a modifier for the stream? Let's check. Transplex chart. C rules. So there is no modifier for the stream. It's just you have to be right next to it in order to fire at it. But they are in wood, so it would be one to one with the plus one. 
And the thing is, I could prevent that unit from firing, which is what I would like to do. But I would need a two or a three, so no, it's not worth it at this point. How about, and this unit can't fire at that because it's in the stream. It's a good place for it, actually. Any other, can, can I fire at any other German units? No, I cannot. Okay, so that's the Russian fire phase. Now the Russian movement phase. This is kind of tricky because there's a big anti-armor weapon right there. And that could easily take out tanks. And I don't want to just hand my tanks over to the Russians, to the Germans. I want to be careful with my tanks and not have them destroyed. So I'm going to need some infantry to come up. Here's what do you know? I got some infantry right here. <laughs> okay, half track. Mm. Luckily, in this particular game, you don't have opportunity fire for the for the Germans. One or the Russians. Two. Three. Four. Four. Four and a half. Plus three. Seven and a half. Unload the infantry. And that's important because I need them there spotting. Chibuki. Next. Okay. One. Two, three, four, five. Five and four is nine. Ten, eleven, twelve. Unload the infantry. Unload that rifle unit. So let's go spot those two. Okay, let's see what else can I do. Huh. Germans have done a halfway decent job of blocking things up. Let's see. Half track here. Right there. And that half track has a submachine gun unit on it. Go one. One and a half, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we'll stop there. Am I? Stop. Oh, that makes him a target. I don't want to do that either, do I? <laughs> Ooh. One. One, two, three, and I can stop right there. So that's stacked to the maximum. That truck. Okay, what else? We have all. So these are all the trucks, <clears throat> excuse me. How about up north here? Hmm. Oops. So I believe it's three to the Weaver Stream or Golly Hex, and one ten to the next hex. So. He's going to go right there. Neat infantry up there. Grab some back here. And it's going to take a while to move it forward, but. Oops, one half. 
four and a half, five, six and a half. Seven, eight and a half. Let's check frame points. Yeah. Eight and a half. Nine, ten and a half. And it's going to have to stop right there. There we go. Trying not to throw away units unnecessarily, even though it's taking time away. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <clears throat> nine, ten. Traps first. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now for these trucks. Well, let's go back here on the road. This guy's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to spot that truck. And then here comes my guns, my weapons. So the main thing I'm concerned about over here, so this half track is going to have that some machine gun unit on it. Have that guy down there too. Cool. Yeah, now it's gonna go <clears throat> one, two, three, four, uh, four. Stop. Do I have any more infantry here? No, no. How about this guy down here? Okay. One, two. Six, ten, eleven, twelve. Be an interesting place to set up a mortar. I think the rest of these are all. Yeah. So those are all like armor units and stuff. So I'm just going to move them forward in the woods because I don't want to lose them. Uh, maybe I'm pl I'm playing a little bit too conservative with the Russians units, but we'll we'll see. Okay. Now let's move up. Any other Russian units? How about this truck right here? Was that half? Well, that has infantry. That has yep. So twelve. One, two, three. Uh -uh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, a seven and a half, eight, nine, ten, unload. Need the infantry. Cool. <clears throat> and how about if I put more infantry on top of that hill? Yeah, let's do that. Come right there. Yeah, manually. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And 11 unload infantry who else do we have that I can move forward and then I just have armor units so we're going forward this infantry unit hasn't moved forward yet so it's going to go four it's going to go right here and unload <clears throat> sure. okay. no it's not gonna I'm not gonna unload it yet I'm gonna keep it there all right how about this unit right here Ooh. I don't want to push it it's gonna go right there how about this truck Can't reach that. One, four, yep, it can be right there in that woods. And now, any more Russian armor vehicles that I can get ahead? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That can, I guess, stage over there. I think that's it for the Russian. We can, oh, right here, this guy. Uh, I guess gully's a safe place. One, two, three, four, three, four. It's going to stay there. Hopefully, oh, I'm praying that that close assault works right there. If not, I may use I may lose that unit. All right, I think that's it. For the Russian phase. All right, now for close assault phase. The only close assault we have is this one right here. And it's going to be a one to one minus one. And I get a two on a one to one, which is the dispersal. So that unit gets dispersed, which is good. It continues to be dispersed. I'm holding it down so it can't do any damage, at least. Okay. I believe that's it. Alrighty. Okay, so that's it for the Russian turn. Now the German turn. So first I'm going to remove all the dispersed markers on the Russian on the Russian units. So, and the fire markers. Yep, hopefully those fired. I think that's it for the Russians. Yes, it is. All right, now the Germans, the German fire phase. Over here. We have eight, one to two, that's be a one to two attack. But the next term they'd be able to close assault. So they're gonna, Germans are gonna start pulling back, I think. Over here, I really don't have any targets, do I? Well, I have this infantry right here, but that'd be a one to two attack. It's not gonna do much. I mean, I could attack its prime mover. I could take out a truck over here. And even this guy could take out this truck over here. Oh, I have an armor, big armor unit over there. So the Russians aren't showing a lot of targets. The question is, do I want to pull back? No, I'd have to, see, I'd have to load up. And this is the thing. I'd have to load up, then pull back. And if I load up, the turn I load up, that Russian infantry is going to come and destroy it. So I may as well try to take something out. So, all right. I'm going to fire at this 
Now do I want to go for both of these? So that's going to become a 10. It's going to be a 10 to, it's going to be a two to one, or I can take out the truck automatically. Two to one or take out the truck automatically. Let's take a look and see what happens with the two to one. So a two to one, I would need a one. I'm going to take out that tr I'm going to take out that truck. I'm going to take out that Russian truck. I guess every little bit helps if I take out the prime movers, right? And I can mark that army unit fired. How about this infantry? They'll have a 3 to 1 attack against that Russian truck. Anybody else in that hex? Oh yeah, I can get a really good attack against that Russian truck. Uh, or I can fire against this truck right here. Let's see now. 16, uh, half, because it's doing it against infantry targets, it'd be 8. I'm gonna, um, yes, I am going to take out that truck that the armor unit's going to take out the truck right here. Hopefully this has some effect. And I'm going to mark that unit fired. How about this infantry right here? No, nope, the infantry is going to wait for the close assault phase and not do any more damage. Okay. Let's see what else we got to fight. How about this guy? Again, I can take out the truck. Well, that'd be eight to. No, I can take out the truck. I'm going to take out that truck. I'm going to make the Russians walk. <laughs> Not fired. All right, anybody else that can fire? Uh, no target. I think that's everybody who has a target. That taking out that 40, 40 degree, 40 degree howitzer. Or, okay, I think that's all. Well, let's go back in the rear defensive line where I'm setting up. And I don't think I have any more adjustments to make. No. Oh my goodness gracious. I have. 80 firepower on that hill. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm going to load this up. Oh. So we're going to movement phase now. I'm going to load this anti armor gun up because it's not doing much good here. Any other movement? Let's see. The half track by itself, it's going to come right here and stop right. Oops. Stop right there. It definitely has the movement points to get there. The thing is, I, on top of this hill, I have mega, I have mega firepower. That board three hill. But I can fire it if the enemy units are in the woods. So that armor unit is going to be eliminated, sadly. Two, three, four, five, six. And so I just want to block up all the woods that I can. Five. Keep that there. Let's see how much it costs to leave for a truck to leave 
ability. Cost five to leave plus one. So that's oh, three. No, that's four and five. So it's going to be nine. 10, 11, and it's just making it a target. So I'm going to move it back there. So it's five, six, and then five, six, seven. Right there, that's a good place for it. You've got to use your trucks tactically here. All right, that half track. I'm going to move that half track back. It's right there. Now, this truck, four, five, six, seven. It's just got to take a blocking position. I believe that's all of the German movement I have this turn. Yes, so now it's the close combat phase for the Germans. Oh, what about, okay, yeah, I just loaded them up. So now close combat right here. Ooh, I don't have a chance, do I? Oh, my word. What was I thinking? <laughs> all right, so he's just going to stay there and defend the armor. That's all I can do. All right, I'm going to move the turn track to turn four, and that's going to be it. So I kept this video down to under 30 minutes, which is good. Thank you for watching. Things sure are getting interesting here. Just clear moved. All right, that's it for turn three. Thank you very much. You have a wonderful day. I will see you for the next, next turn. Thank you.